Hey folks, in this video, I'm gonna run through 12 must-see, mind-blowing AI tools that you need to know about right now. With thousands of new AI tools launching every week, it can be really difficult to keep up and find the best tools out there for you. I've been trying out hundreds of AI tools and I found some unbelievable tools that can do lots of things from boosting your productivity to animating images and even cloning yourself and winding back time, sort of. If you find this video valuable, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's dive into the first AI tool which will not only blow your mind, but which actually saves me tons of time every single week. ClipDrop is a suite of image tools from Stability.ai, who are the team that created Stable Diffusion. If you're not familiar with Stable Diffusion, it's an image generation and editing model that can create descriptive images with short prompts similar to Midjourney or Dolly. ClipDrop features AI image editing tools, including a background remover, an image upscaler, and more. Its most impressive feature is its inclusion of Stable Diffusion XL. This enables easy image generation and can even generate work within images. The paid version with unlimited runs costs £60 per year and the interface is really easy to use and you can even plug the API into your own app. I've been using ClipDrop for a while now and it saves me loads of time when it comes to creating images and editing existing images as it's just so easy to use. I also use Midjourney a lot for creating images but ClipDrop's interface makes accessing the latest stable diffusion models much easier and more accessible. Metaphor is pretty crazy. It's a new kind of search engine designed from scratch using AI to be much more conversational. Metaphor's AI model is trained to do something called link prediction. This means that given a text prompt, it tries to predict the link that would most likely follow that prompt. For example, we might say something like, this is the best tutorial on how to get started with cooking, and then colon. The results displayed are quite different from how Google's algorithm searched for results, and I found Metaphor takes a bit of getting used to, but produces content that I wouldn't have discovered via a simple Google search alone. So it's definitely worth exploring. If you don't have time to watch long YouTube videos like me, and are struggling to find the best AI video summary tool, you definitely need to check out Video Highlight, which provides a summary of what the video is talking about based on specific timeframes. For example, I can add in a long video I might not have time to watch, like an interview with Sam Altman about OpenAI, and then easily scroll through the key points. I find Video Highlight to be the most comprehensive of all the YouTube summary AI tools with its easy to use interface and export options. NVIDIA Broadcast is absolutely insane, as it can transform any room into a home recording studio using AI. Broadcast applies AI to your live streams, voice chats, and video conference calls with AI-enhanced voice and video. Broadcast features a range of tools. At the most sci-fi end is eye contact, which uses AI to make it appear as if you're looking directly at the camera, even when glancing to the side or taking notes. Then there's noise reduction, which works really well, and also video noise reduction that improves your background. The virtual background works really nicely too, without any clipping issues when I tried it, and you can also dynamically track your movements in real time using auto frame, automatically cropping and zooming so that you remain safe centered, even as you move around. This AI tool is mind-blowing, not because of its ability to generate AI art using Stable Diffusion, but because it's completely free of charge and runs offline without any limits. Diffusion B is the easiest way to generate AI art on your computer with Stable Diffusion. All images are generated and stored locally, and its simple interface allows you to generate images from text prompts. Diffusion B offers easy-to-use tools powered by AI to modify your existing images too. You can add and remove objects, change the style of the image, or transform the scene using just text prompts. If you don't want to work in the cloud or have privacy concerns, Diffusion B is a great tool to try out. Now, AI-generated art is absolutely insane, and I've generated hundreds of images across Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly. The problem is that learning how to engineer prompts that produce the precise images that you're after is much less accessible than ChatGPT, and so people often give up. Step in Lexica. Lexica is a search engine and art gallery for AI artwork that also allows generation of images using Stable Diffusion. The site aims to make image prompting a little bit less of a dark art and more of a science. Once you navigate to lexica.art in your browser, you can scroll down to check out recently uploaded art. Clicking on an image will reveal the entire prompt used to generate that art, as well as any seed information. The best feature of Lexica is the search bar, which can be used to search for specific prompts or prompt elements, which you can then copy and use in your own prompts. If you're just getting started with AI art, it's a really fast way to learn. If you're new to AI, my heritage will immediately blow your mind as it uses deepfakes to animate and color restore old family photos photographs that you may have lying around. It's very accessible and it's really fun to take old photographs your parents or grandparents might have stored away and blow their minds with what the technology can do. MyHeritage uses the DID IPI and if you want to learn more about deepfakes, you might also want to check out Deepface Lab, which is an open source project that powers most deepfake technology on the internet and it's completely crazy. Here are two very cool AI tools in one that can save you loads of time when it comes to repurposing content for socials. It can take my team absolutely ages to crop 
content for shorts, add captions and transitions, and make short form videos as engaging as possible. With video, you can upload a video or just add a YouTube link, and then the AI will automatically split up your long form content into shorter clips that can then be used across socials. You can adjust captions and even style your video all in a matter of minutes. An Opus clip offers a similar experience too, but also adds in a virality score that identifies the most compelling hooks and segments of your long form video. I've used both, and while their ability to detect cuts isn't perfect yet, they definitely save time and can reduce costs if you don't have a full blown editing team. AutoDraw is insanely fun to use and shows off some of the more creative aspects of AI tools. You can think of AutoDraw a little bit like old school MS Paint meets AI. As you draw a shape, AutoDraw will complete that shape and interpret your sketch into something more professional looking. AutoDraw is part of Google's Experiments Lab and it's completely free to try out. It's also just fun to see if the AI can guess what you've been drawing. Here's a super useful AI tool that will restore any blurry photo. It's called Restore Photos and you can upload any blurry image and instantly improve its clarity. I love Restore Photo as it's super simple and uses the GFP GAN open source API that's an image restoration machine learning model and shows the power of plugging openly available APIs into good UX to solve simple problems. This AI tool is absolutely insane. It's from the team at Storyteller AI and it can clone your voice and enable video lip syncing in just a few clicks. Fake You is aimed at creators who want to dub their content rather than re-record. And in addition to the AI tools, Fake You also offers paid voice cloning services, an API with free and paid tiers, and in the future, users will be able to monetize their own voices. Rewind is one of the most mind-blowing uses of AI I've seen so far. It's been created by the founding team at Optimizely and aims to capture anything you've seen, said, or heard and make it searchable to augment human memory. Rewind does this by using optical character recognition and speech recognition on your computer screen. This is then stored locally for privacy and can then be searched using GPT-4 to quickly find that thing that you can't quite remember from a Zoom call two days ago. More than that, you can use GPT-4 to write an email or blog post and it will be able to reference some of this saved data. For example, if you write a follow-up email from a sales call using Rewind, it can automatically reference what was said on the call and in any previous email exchanges to save you tons and tons of time. This is probably my favorite tool on this list and it's so helpful for any knowledge worker or anyone looking to boost productivity and it's all built on top of GPT-4 using prompt engineering. If you want to find out more about GPT-4 and how to craft the best prompts possible, make sure you check out my other videos on prompt engineering, which I'll put up over here. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again in the next video.